question. Bridget says, I need some help on starting my savings all over because what I had saved on my mom's care and I am 54, help. Okay, so Bridget's saying, I need some help on starting my savings all over. So I'm going to assume Bridget is now at zero in savings, right? Well, Bridget, the very first thing that we do on this channel before we get into anything regarding money is we need to know our four major numbers. What's my income per month? What are my expenses? What's my debt? What is my cash flow? Okay. Where am I? Once you've determined your four major numbers, Bridget, you now want to look at you need to track your finances over the next 90 days. Okay, so you're going to track your finances. So not only do you need to know your four major numbers, but you need to know where is your money going, right? Where is your moolah going? Your money, dinero. Where's it going, man? Right? So where is it going? 90 days track over the next 90 days track it. Then I want you to go back 90 days. Right? Go back. Go back as far as you want to go back. But I say at least 90 days. Go back and see where is the waste going. What are you wasting money on, right? What are you wasting money on that can improve your cash flow? What are you willing to give up? Are you willing to give up the Netflix for a period of time, the Spotify, the Hulu, the Disney Plus, right? What are you willing to give up, okay? The Prime, do you have to get your shipping sent in two days or can you wait, right? What are you willing to give up? Are you, are you eating out four times a week? How many times are you eating out per week, per meal, right? Not just per day, go over per meal. How much are you eating out per week? Let's say it's, uh, let's say it's five times a week. Okay, Bridget, can you knock it down to two? Is that a possibility? Okay, is that a possibility? Can you knock out eating down to two? Eating out down to two. Now, don't, don't convert from eating out to Uber Eats now. Don't do that. Don't be silly with me. So if you're also eating out five times a week and two times a week you do Uber Eats because you didn't want to go out, can you cut it down to one, right? So cut this down to two and then maybe this down to one. So I'm not saying get rid of it all radical, right? Dave Ramsey approach. I know that can be valuable for some, but many people end up failing because it was too much of a, it, it, it was like trying, it's like an addict trying to quit smoking or someone trying to quit smoking weed or someone that's addicted to something. It's very tough to just break it, right? So many of us have money addictions, right? It's like we have to have the Hulu, the Netflix, the Spotify. No, you don't. You don't need cable, right? If you're paying $250 a month on 500 channels and you only watch 20 of those channels, what are you doing? You might as well reroute the 250 and own Disney Plus if you have kids, and just Disney Plus. Get rid of the Hulu, the Prime, the Spotify, the Netflix, and just do the Disney Plus. And then you might, you might save 150, almost $200 just from that, okay? So these are, th these are ways that we can start rebuilding our savings. Haven't even got into 10X. Didn't even get into that yet. Didn't even get into paying off debt, right? 
which are other internal ways that we can improve our finances to build up our savings, right? Didn't even get into that yet. All I'm talking about is redirect cash flow, right? Redirect cash flow, Bridget. Bridget, are you putting money in a 401k? And are you losing money in that 401k? Do you know the exact amount of fees you pay in that 401k? If you can't tell me the amount you pay in fees per year, the exact amount, if you can't tell me that, and if you can't tell me what your rate of return is, your ROR, if you can't tell me that, you have no business putting money here because you don't know where your money is going. It's that simple. So we got to know our four major numbers, look at the next 90 days, track where your money is going, look at your bank accounts, go 90 days back, see where the waste is. You can go back even further. You can go one year, right, to get a full analysis of where your money is going. What can you get rid of? What do you not need? What can we, uh, you know, reroute? Right? Do you need cable? Do you really need cable to be paying two fifty a month on that? It could lower your light bill, by the way. Right? If you don't have the TV running all the time. Right? Uh, um, there's so many. There's so many different things that we can do. But this is just a couple of things, Bridget. Hopefully that helps. Okay. Let's go to the next question. 